All right, I'm doing a pool test today that I've been wanting to do for years. Everybody across the Gulf Coast and even up the Atlantic Coast fishes redfish spinners, right? Spinner baits designed to catch redfish. You know, it's definitely one of my favorite baits. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know which one I'm partial to. So I'm gonna show that one in the pool today as well. But I've got some that I don't generally fish. We're gonna see how they look in the water. Don't have Joel with me today. You know, he normally helps me with these pool tests. He's got something going, couldn't make it. So this is what I've got set up. Oh, by the way, I'm here at my friends at McNeil's house using their pool once again. Thanks, Jill and Dan. All right, so I got one of their bar stools set up here with my trusty H&H &H push pole. I'm gonna mount my GoPro down to the bottom of that and run these baits past it so you get to see how they look in the water. Hopefully we can also hear them. Obviously that's an important consideration. These baits are designed not only to flash but also to put off a lot of vibration, a lot of commotion in that water to attract a redfish's attention. Well, let me show you which ones I got. I got this Bass Assassin, well I guess Saltwater Assassin, Red Daddy. I've got this Bomber Lures Drum Beater. Got a Strike King Redfish Magic. Got this H&H &H Kakaho Minnow Jig Spin. And I also got from H&H &H this Redfish jig spinner these are sold individually they're actually designed for redfish you can see the wires a lot beefier than what you have on this jig spin and then i have my favorite the soft wire h and h gold number four blade this is the one i fish all the time definitely is my bias i love that bait now i'm gonna see if it looks better sounds better whatever in the water why it produces more fish or is it just confirmation bias on my part who knows we'll see all right first things first i'm throwing everything on my akuma guide select rod this is a 6.9 medium power i've got spooled on here 15 pound soft steel mono got my camera all set up so let's take a look first up is the bass assassin saltwater assassin red daddy this one's got an r bend gold wire and the blade looks like about a number four but let's see how this looks all right i ran all the clips in super slow-mo because at regular speed it's just too fast to see anything the tail on the Red Daddy looks really good, but you'd expect that from a saltwater assassin bait. On the negative side though, I don't like how the lure rides at almost 45 degrees from the bottom. It just doesn't look natural. The spin of the blade also seems slower than some of the other models. All right, next up is the Bomber Lures Drum Beater. This one's got a stainless wire. It's actually a clothespin design. It's not an R bend. I know this bait is very popular here in South Louisiana. Let's see how it looks. The tail on the drum beater also has some pretty good action. And the spinner seems to spin faster than the Red Daddy. I also like that the lure runs roughly parallel with the bottom. It also has a nice side-to-side -side wiggle. But it doesn't undulate nearly as much as our next bait. All right, now we got the Strike King Redfish Magic, also a popular bait here in South Louisiana. Now this one's got a gold wire also with an R bend, quarter ounce jig head. We're gonna see how it looks. Okay, I think it's immediately obvious how much action this Redfish Magic has. The whole bait wobbles and shakes. And I've gotta think that's gonna look pretty good to a Redfish. On the negative side, however, I had to keep sliding the soft plastic up the hook shank and I was throwing it straight out of the package. If I ever fish this bait, I'd have to replace the stock jig head with a death grip. All right, now we got the H&H &H Kakaho Minnow Jig Spin. This one comes pre-rigged. Now I can tell you this wire is definitely softer than the three previous ones we looked at. Let's see if that makes a difference in the appearance in the water. I'm always surprised when I get Kakahos in the pool how much tail action they have. And that's certainly evident here. The bait runs roughly parallel with the bottom, which I like, but the nearly vertical orientation of the wire might make it less weedless. All right, next up is the H&H &H Redfish Jig Spinner. This one is actually designed to catch redfish. 
therefore it's much beefier. I mean, this wire is really, really stout. I've got it teamed with a quarter ounce death grip jig head and a shrimp creole matrix shad. These come unrigged, I think in a pack of three, but I went ahead and rigged it. Let's see how it looks. I actually like this one more than I expected to. Obviously that thick wire is pretty prominent in this crystal clear pool. But the whole bait really has a great deal of movement. All right, and last but not least is the one I'm most looking forward to seeing. This is the H&H &H soft wire spinner. Now the negative with this, as I tell you all the time, it's not designed to catch redfish, and so they tear this thing up. But they're inexpensive, and I just keep a whole bunch of them in stock, and I'm just very confident it gets me more strikes, not only from redfish, but also from bass and even speckled trout. I just really love this bait. Now if you notice, most of the other ones are in our bin. This is not, this is a clothes pin, which I personally prefer to keep that line from sliding down the wire. But let's see how this thing looks in the water. To be honest, I can't tell what exactly makes this setup so productive. I like that the blade is much closer to the bait. I like that the wire is less obvious. And of course that matrix shad has some incredible action. Maybe it's all those things combined that make it so effective. I don't know. I just know fish cannot resist this thing. All right, every pool test is a revelation, and this one certainly was. I know I'm gonna stick with my Softwire H&H &H Gold Spinner just because I've got so much confidence in it, and I know that it works. And hopefully you saw something today that'll help you make better decisions when you're at the tackle shop trying to choose between the different redfish spinners. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, We'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.